hello there fairbuynoweoptions.com and even though we talked about fairbinaryoptions.com so even though we talked about the euro and the great britain pound with bearish terms or art so far if you go on the website and you check on the analysis made on the pair it is looking like it is looking and um, the pattern that strikes the eye is an inverse head and shoulder and the inverse head and shoulder has a neckline that goes all the way towards around 0.80 level I would go with it a bit lower not necessarily at that moment of time but to be something like something like this at those are uh, only spikes let's try to put it so point eight is around here and that would be the pivotal if you want level but the uh, the head and shoulder would be most likely the neckline would be most likely this one here now for a head and shoulder pattern what we do need to have is of course a left shoulder then of course a right shoulder then if you go and measure the amplitude from the left shoulder to the right shoulder given by the neckline and project it to the downside you have a possible place for going to buy call options and this was with the spike lower after the UK data that we have uh, the other days and uh, now all eyes should stay on the upper neckline here on the upper uh, side of the channel given by the, by this neckline as the measure move for the inverse head and shoulders we know very well what it is this is the measured move and the measure move should be pointed should be projected to the upside by the time the neckline is broken the neckline normally should be broken at this moment of time here and it projects towards 0.82 of course now that is only the measure move and uh, I don't know what's what needs to happen on the on the euro uh, side of the story or on the gravitan pound side of the story because the euro gravitan pound is actually a cross and crosses are moving based on the differences between the two majors it represents in this case the euro US dollar and the gravitan pound US dollar that would be the, p the, um, the take profit area here but of course I'm not going to wait for um, for that move as I'm not trading the spot market but I'm trading uh, binary options and I would like to buy call options here of course I will choose end of week expiration date that means next uh, the very next uh, Friday I mean tomorrow when the option will expire and then we'll see um, we'll see the outcome of it what I would like to say is that this one here is actually acting as a pattern within a pattern as this line here it might be the neckline of a lower degree head and shoulder as you can see here this one from here to here if you take it and project it to the upside you see that it is already completed almost completed here with the spike so don't see any reason why this one should not pop higher it should also be considered the fact that head and shoulders and inverse head and shoulders are reversal patterns and if you want to see or to find out more details regarding trading such a pattern then just go over the binary options academy on our website and we have there a full mini educational series or a mini project with two recordings uh, uh, that should show exactly what to look for and how to trade such a pattern now let's write here on the screen that I am um, buying call options with end of week expiration date for the euro grape in the pound on the let's say on the grounds of this being a reversal pattern and inverse head and shoulders with the neckline pointed with the measure move pointed towards around point, uh, point 81 it remains to be seen if the market will, confirms, will confirm it normally judging by the time taken for the left shoulder to consolidate we might have that amount of time here for consolidation as well but that is not mandatory um, fundamentally 
we should see how the gravity compound US dollar and the euro US dollar are reacting to what Miss Yellen is going to speak into her speech tomorrow. Have a great day and bye-bye. Um,